Tigers are a great representation of Azerbaijan. We looked at 750 pictures, we chose 100, and they represent all of the scenery, the seaside, the mountains, the forest, and the people, old and new. The winning picture, old men sitting around talking with one old lady, yeah? Uh, but then you have the flame towers, brand new modern architecture, thrusting. That's Azerbaijan, old and new. Azerbaijan is an amazing country. It's very small, it's about the size of Austria, but it has nine different climatic zones, from glaciers down to desert. It is absolutely amazing. It's at the crossroads of the world, where north meets south and east meets west. Lots of culture, different ethnicities, different religions, the old, and the new, it is unique. I mean, we have commissioned professional photographers to go to Azerbaijan, take pictures and produce some fantastic photographs, some great books. But what we wanted was ordinary people, visitors, people who work in Azerbaijan, Azerbaijanis, foreigners, to bring to us their ideas, their representation of Azerbaijan. And that's why you get the variety that you've got here today. so much to see. I mean, you start in Baku, because Baku is an ancient city. The Maiden Tower is maybe five, six hundred years old. And then you have all the modern architecture as well. And then you go to the countryside, where life is not that different from it was maybe ten years ago. There is now almost no poverty in Azerbaijan. People have nice houses, they have tractors instead of oxen. It's, they've kept the tradition, but people now live much better than they did, certainly much better than they did under the Soviets. still more traditional than modern because 21 years ago Azerbaijan was part of the Soviet Union. Independence, it's only two decades, it's not long. You know this in Germany, it takes time. So I think there is more tradition than modern, but if you go to Baku and Gabala and Kuba, you will see some new buildings that are state of the art. Western architects, Western structures, and side by side you'll have a mosque and some of the old building. It's an amazing mix.
unfortunately it wasn't me. We had two top professional photographers, one a royal photographer in the UK and the other the director of photography for Condé Nast. So two top professionals who did the choosing. One of the great traditions of Azerbaijan is chai, tea. And the men and the women, they sit around, they drink tea, they talk, they smoke, they play chess and drafts, and they just talk, like in the Mediterranean countries. People just sit. Now that photograph is quite old. And the reason we know it's old is because that was taken in Nagorno-Karabakh, which is now occupied by Armenia. So there are no Azerbaijanis there. They're all dead or they've all gone. So that photograph is maybe 25 years old, but it doesn't matter. It's a fantastic photograph and it shows the way older people still live in Azerbaijan, but it also reminds us that 20% of Azerbaijan is occupied by Armenia illegally. So it combines all of those things. My baby, this is a matter for you. Azerbaijan is wahnsinnig interesting because it's so a ost-westliches, west-östliches Land ist, in dem ja die großen Kulturen und Religionen Gott sei Dank friedlich zusammenleben. Ein Land, das eine islamische Kultur hat und trotzdem sozusagen ganz, ganz offen für den Westen ist, was für uns, die wir ja den Dialog mit der islamischen Welt suchen, unheimlich wichtig ist. Ich bin auch in dieser deutschen aserbaidschanischen Gesellschaft organisiert, weil wir als Musikhochschule in Weimar einen großen musikethnologischen Teil haben. Chance Cultural Music Studies und wir sind bereits in gemeinsamen Projekten organisiert. Ich freue mich sehr, auch selbst mal hinzufahren. Ich glaube, ich finde es ganz gut, dass die Aseiri, so heißen die ja, Deutschland als ein, wie soll man sagen, Premium-Partner in der westlichen Welt sich ausgesucht haben. in den frühen 80er Jahren mal in äh, Aserbaidschan gewesen und damals in Baku. Und Baku war eine äh, kleine, graue und eher schmutzige Stadt. Äh, und äh, das Meer davor war total versaut äh, von äh, nicht sehr fachmännisch äh, gemachten Ölbohren. Und, und äh, ich meine, so wie Aserbaidschan jetzt aussieht und wie Baku jetzt aussieht, und ich meine, ich kenne es jetzt allerdings nur von Filmen und von, von äh, Bildern, äh, das ist natürlich eine völlig neue Welt. Das Land hat sich enorm herausgearbeitet. Es ist wirtschaftlich natürlich bestens beieinander wegen des viel Öls. Also wenn man die Bilder sieht, bekommt man Lust. Es ist ja ein altes Land, ein traditionsreiches Land, reich mit Öl. Aber wie man hier sieht, mit einer tollen Kultur auch. Und äh, das macht wirklich Lust, dorthin zu reisen. Aserbaidschan so schön ist, sind die Bilder auch schön. Also, mehr kann ich da, außerdem habe ich noch nicht viele gesehen. Das ist echt hier. Aber wenn man von äh, Herrn Nussenbaum die Bücher liest, weiß man sowieso, dass Aserbaidschan das Land ist. Warum? Ja, weil das klasse ist einfach. Ja. Ich hoffe, es wird wieder. Ja.